Hello, welcome to EDI Subsystems and VAN in Systems uh, session. Uh, like other uh, sessions, we'll start with objectives. Uh, the prime objective of this uh, of this uh, 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 this uh, session is to understand uh, what subsystem is uh, all about and understand van and try to get a, a logical understanding what happens or how the data is uh, handled within these two systems in the system landscape. We'll start with EDI subsystem. The main characteristics and functions of EDI subsystem is they have an inbox for data receipt and an outbox for data delivery in each direction. Uh, if you recall that subsystem, it resides in the middle of SAP and the van. It translates messages uh, from input to output format. It routes the inbound data to correct processing and subsequent delivery. The delivery can be to the van, which is the outbound to trading partner, or to application when it is inbound uh, from the trading partner. Example of subsystems. Uh, SAP PI or the process integrator or SI Starling integrator or JCAPS and we already discussed that IDOC is a background application it's hidden from the end users so these are some of the examples of subsystems in a detailed flow uh, when we have three different systems uh, SAP, EDI subsystem, and the VAN. For the outbound flow, data comes to an inbound folder or a mailbox. Uh, when we talk mailbox, the logical way to think that it's just a directory in Windows environment. Once the files are received on this mailbox, subsystem does three different things. It routes, it translates, and it delivers to the outbound mailbox. From the outbound mailbox, the data goes to VAN. On the incoming process, VAN sends the data to the inbound folder of the mailbox. Its route, translate, and deliver to the outbound folder or the mailbox. Then it reaches SAP. So the main function of EDI subsystem is to do route, translate, and deliver. We will take an example of data that's coming from the van. So it's inbound. Data is coming from the van. And if we recall that in the EDI file, we had three different segments, ISA, GS, and ST and we call them the envelope segments. In the ISA, we have two, uh, we have these two uh, values, uh, the qualifier and the value pair, which is the sender of the message. And this is the receiver of the message, 0, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 8, 0, 8. And this is the message that is coming from the van. Uh, before processing this message within the within the subsystem, the sub subsystem will have three setups: envelopes, which has for interchange, group, and message. We are going to have the map at the message level, which is going, going to translate the EDI to IDOC and the delivery at the message level that is going to push the file towards SAP. On the routing and translate function, uh, subsystem reads the sender, receiver, and the message type from the file and retrieve the right envelope. So once the subsystem reads this 
three segments, it finds the envelope, then it find the, find the map, and find the delivery. And once the map is found, it finds the envelope that has a translation map. Subsystem translates the data to application format, which is the IDOC format in this case. And upon translation, it delivers to SAP. Going to EDI van, we'll talk about the main characteristics and functions. Uh, like subsystem, it also has inbox for data receipt and outbox for data delivery. And to note that your company is a client to the van or a customer to the van. There are no translation happens in the van, though a few vans, you know, do offer this translation service as well. Uh, EDI van routes the inbound data for delivery, and this delivery can be to training partner van when you're sending the data out to your training partner, or it will be subsystem when the data is inbound. Some examples of VAN, IBM Starling, GXS, Dynet. A Dynet is a European VAN, uh, and uh, they are in Europe, and they do a very good uh, service when your trading partners are set up on OFTP. You also have Covicent, and there are also numerous other VANs uh, which provides this value-added service. A bit more detail on the van diagram. So in this uh, we have SAP subsystem. This is our van or your van and this is trading partner van. Let's say we're sending the data out from SAP to subsystem. So subsystem delivers to the inbox or the inbound folder of your TP van. He picks up the data, routes it, and delivers to the outbound mailbox from where your van pushes the data to training partner van. Training partner van on the inbound side sends the data to your van on the inbound folder. Your van routes and delivers to the outbound folder, and from there it comes to a subsystem. And then eventually it comes to your application. And we'll take a similar example, uh, the one we looked at before. Uh, we have this uh, EDI coming in, ISA, GS, and ST. Those three envelopes, uh, this is the sender and the receiver. Uh, VAN only routes EDI data or flat files. Uh, but do note that flat files routing in a VAN may be a custom process. Not all VANs support uh, the flat file process, but if they do, then they have to develop a custom process depending on your flat file layout. Each company has a qualifier and ID on the VAN to identify itself. When, if we look at this example, when your trading partner sending you the data, your ID is tied to the mailbox of the van, of your van. And there are usually no envelopes. And as I said, your ID and qualifier tied to your mailbox. And your trading partner van knows that your ID resides on a van so that when he routes the data, he knows where which van he wants the data to be pushed. And van does two different things, the route and deliver. The way van does it, it reads the sender receiver type from the file, delivers the destination mailbox based on the mailbox and qualifier ID linkage. Uh, if you recall that your ID is tied to the mailbox where uh, the outbound mailbox 
uh, from the van where it pushes to your subsystem so based on this destination mailbox based on the qualifier ID it delivers to the outbox then mailbox delivery pushes the data either to TP van when the data is going out it pushes to the outbound or to the subsystem when it's inbound one thing to note is uh, I believe that van actually uh, looks into the receiver type or the receiver ID and based on that he does a route uh, to uh, to the uh, uh, to the right you know, destination where the data needs to go into and it, and in any case if the van receives the data and there is no receiver for that it usually errors out and it just goes to a bit bucket where it resides and van can you know contact you uh, or someone uh, where they think that well this data came by mistake or something so they can do a production support to uh, troubleshoot uh, the issue with that uh, we'll conclude this uh, uh, presentation or, or session on systems uh, for EDI subsystem and VAN. I hope this uh, being helpful uh, to give you better understanding on how the subsystems and VAN, uh, you know, they work within the EDI landscape. Uh, see you in the uh, next uh, lecture. Uh, thanks.